<clears throat> Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're on part 51. Uh, we are continuing the Yohanka questline from the uh, Woman Slot DLC. And we left off with uh, Yohanka's getting dreams slash visions uh, where she sees the Virgin Mary telling her stuff and we've been using that information to do certain things like recover a lost treasure to do a donation track down a murderer Charles the uh, save a King prostitute Bohemia, from continuing to be a Roman prostitute Emperor, stuff like that had a long and, um, and she's been like I guess preaching quote unquote expanded, in the square and his subjects lived in peace um, and prosperity and some people haven't liked that, so we got into a fist fight with people. But the next vision that she had in the when world the now, died, the um, she said that uh, that Mary says that I need to go atone for my sins and stuff. So me, Henry, being a uh, a pious dude, or at least not a like he's he's in it for um, he's he's a religious enough dude to where he would probably accept this. Um, so, we have our penitent robes on. took off all my stuff, which means I'm weighed down by it now. Okay. I just need to a couple things away. Alright. So, we need to go, yeah, visit the sites, do penance. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. Starting from here, we're not using a horse, we're walking. So this will take a second. And we're going to Ujits. Coming up to the first shrine. I'm gonna sit down here to pray. Yeah, she accused me of all kinds of stuff. How should I begin? Which she was right about Hail everything. Hail Mary, full of grace. I've definitely stolen thee. stuff. Blessed art I've pickpocketed stuff. We've and killed blessed is the fruit people. of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of I've God. I've been in jail. Pray for us I've done all kinds now, of stuff. And at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, that's one down. Next one is this way. I don't think I'm allowed to use my horse for this, which is why we're walking. Lord Jesus, forgive me for stealing and behaving like a sinful thief. I'm ashamed of myself, and I won't do it again. From now on, I'll be honest and honorable. Amen. Okay, that's two. Move it on 
on to the next one. there. Almost to the third one. God Almighty, have mercy on me, and forgive me for committing the terrible sin of taking a life. Grant me mercy, and let me find peace. I beg you. Amen. Yeah, I'll probably do it again, though. here. This is the next one, so I gotta go all the way up here. Yeah, not praying at this one. Keep going.
Hey, fella. Is knocked over. My, this one has seen better days. I ought to tell someone about it. But now, Almighty God, please grant us peace that we may rebuild this little shrine. And maybe Scalitz too. Amen. Next ones are all through Talmud. Forgive me, Lord, for all the wrongs I have done and the dishonest deeds I have committed. I promise I'll amend my ways. Amen. Forgive me, God, for sinning with Lady Stephanie. Amen. should pray for Ma and Pa. Mary, Holy Mother of God, please intercede for my parents. They never did anything wicked. Pray that their souls may find peace in God's kingdom. Amen. there. We have one more shrine to hit. So we're going to walk up this way and take a right and then we'll be in Ujins. I don't oh, know, that cow's still alive. Yeah, poop. Yucky.
Last one before you shoots. Lord Jesus, I often drank and indulged more than I should have. Please help me overcome my intemperance. Amen. Yeah, I literally did that for the last quest. Okay. completed our pilgrimage of penance and we did it with all the rules followed didn't use a horse and we put our robe on now we're gonna go to Ushits say what's up to Father Godwin Just so, I made it this far. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Mm. I'll pray at the Virgin Mary. I don't know the rest in Latin. But she'll understand my native tongue too, won't she? Holy Mary, Queen of Heaven, merciful Mother, just Virgin, loving, yes, loving and uh, forgiving. Please look down on me and hear me. A great sinner. I want to say sorry and repent. To do penance for for being such a villain and for all the terrible things I did. I'll just repent. I have later. sinned terribly. I killed a man, Runt. He was a criminal and a murderer, and he, he deserved it. But I shouldn't have killed him even though he deserved it. It's not for me to judge and punish others. It was a sin, committed in anger, and it burdens my soul. Please forgive me, and let me make amends. Killed others too. And I killed other people too. Oh, merciful Mother of God. Sometimes righteously, sometimes I had to, but sometimes I was simply be overcome by anger and oh, please forgive me and I did all sorts of wicked deeds I lied and and stole and behaved like a villain and a thug I'm truly sorry for my deeds and I promise I won't do them again and I'll make a donation to the church to make amends for everything and I have fornicated I'm ashamed of it but I'll be more virtuous from now on, I promise. Well, as I said, I have sinned, but at heart I'm not a bad person. I know I failed in some of the trials you sent me, but please, give me a chance to make amends. I beg your forgiveness, almighty God. Please forgive a humble sinner, as Jesus Christ forgave those who nailed him to the cross. I'll be back in a second. Pray for my parents. Mother of God, intercede with God for the souls of my parents and let them find mercy in the kingdom of heaven. They were honest people who didn't deserve what happened to them. And I promise I'll be virtuous, the most virtuous of men, so as not to bring shame to their memory. Amen. 
qui es in celis, sanctificato in nomen tu, veniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tu, sicut in celi et in terra. Amen nostro super substantial. Okay, praying for forgiveness. Okay. Make a donation. Is there a box? a box, but I'm supposed to go talk to Father Godwin about it. Okay. Good day to you. I want to make a donation to the church as a token of repentance for the things I did wrong. There you go. You are? And I gladly accept your offering, my son. I'll pray for your forgiveness. But I'm curious, how come you got so devote all of a sudden? Has something happened? Johanka sent me to do penance to the Virgin Mary and make a donation to her church. Johanka? Yes, Father. It's, uh, it's a long story. Not to worry, lad. I had to listen to a lot of long stories at the university in Prague. Each of the masters tried to speak longer than the others so as not to appear less learned. I can handle it, believe me. Everything. All right. If you like. Johanka is a girl from Scalitz. I've known her since, well, all my life. But recently, some um, peculiar things have been going on. Haven't they everywhere? These are dark times. No, wait, though. This is something different. The Virgin Mary has been appearing to Johanka. What? Are you serious? Yes. Our Lady visits her in her dreams and shows her... Well, I don't know what. Johanka says the Virgin tells her some... some words of wisdom and wants her to pass them on to the people. Good Lord. What does she show her? Tell me. Well, once she preached to the people about how we were all sinners and must repent, otherwise... Beasts of hell would come for us and rip us to pieces. Something like that. But if we're virtuous, Our Lady will drive the beasts away and save us. Of course, when Johanka speaks, it sounds a lot better, really. She speaks completely differently than she usually does. Like, well, like some kind of angel. Damn. That sounds very... Uh, I don't know, Henry. You wouldn't be making it up by any chance. Why would I make any of this up? No, I swear by the Blessed Virgin, it's all true. I was there myself. I see. Hmm. Well, that is really extraordinary. And what do the people think of all this? Well, the people of Sasau go to listen to her. Well, some of them. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. The Masters of Prague ought to hear this. Some might even agree. And what about you, Henry? What do you think of it? Me? I... I really don't know what to make of it. But your hanker would never lie. And what do you think? You're a learned man. It's hard to say. Maybe I should go to Sassau and see for myself. Thank you for telling me, lad. One thing is certain, though. There are interesting times ahead. That you can be sure of. More interesting than now. Don't know if I'll be able to handle that. Anyway, I should get back to your hanker. I shouldn't keep her waiting. God be with you, Father. Wait a moment. You came here the whole way from Sasso on foot? I did. I made a pilgrimage of penance. I stopped to pray at every shrine and cross along the way. By the way, that shrine before Talmberg, by the path from Sasau, I don't know what happened to it, but someone should see to getting it fixed. 
You noticed, eh? Yes, I know about that. It's just that there hasn't been the means to get it fixed, see? It just occurred to me, this affair with Yohanka reminds me of a manuscript I made a copy of once. You might find it interesting. If you want, you can come with me and I'll find it for you. Or stop by the presbytery later. All right, Father. Thanks. Take care now. Pick up the manuscript. Okay. Where could I have put it? I knew it was a mistake to put it in a safe place. Ah, here it is. About that manuscript, Father. Ah, excellent. Look, I found it. Copied excerpts from the work of Magister Parisiensis. The who? Matthew of Yanov. The master of Paris, as he was known. He studied there. He was a university master. He traveled a lot and was very learned. Hmm. Did I tell you about Jan Hus? Oh, yeah. I'm not likely to forget that in a hurry. Ha <laughs> ha, right. Me neither. Anyway, as I was saying, Hus wasn't alone, see. There are other masters who have similar ideas. Just that Hus knows how to talk about it better than anyone. But this Matthew, he was one of those who thought much the same as Hus. And what use will that be to me? I can't say, but it came to mind when you were talking about Johanka, because Matthew wrote about similar things, about women who had visions and the like. I've got a copy here. I'll lend it to you if you promise to bring it back. You do know how to read, don't you? Of course I do. By Christ, lad, you're a regular scholar. Here you are, then. I'm sure it's in good hands. You can bring it back to me when you're passing again. Ah, all right, thanks. You're welcome, lad. Now run along and don't keep Johanka waiting. Finish the pilgrimage. Back to Prophecy and intimacy with the Holy Spirit is complete to women. Interesting.
back to Yohaku with the manuscript. And we finished the pilgrimage. Honka. Is she not in here? Good health to you. Hey, Adela. How are things going here? Quite well. It's a lot of work, but I have a feeling I'm doing something useful. Johanka and brother Nicodemus showed me what to do, and I already know a thing or two. Sounds good. I have a roof over my head, enough to eat, and they even pay me a bit. It's really quite fine. I'm glad to hear it. And you've had no trouble from anyone? No. Everyone has been kind. It's sweet of you to care, Henry. Good luck then. May the Lord watch over you. What happened to your hunker? Nothing good, I'm sorry to say. Uh -oh. She was locked up by the Papal Inquisitor Bishop Yaroslav of Benishov. Ooh, it seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. Nice. Jesus Christ! What's gonna happen to her? I don't know, Henry. It all depends on the Inquisitor and how he decides. The accusations brought against Johanka are very serious. Well, we must do something. Hmm. Well, you can try talking to Bishop Yaroslav. He can tell you more. As a servant of the royal headman, your name ought to carry some weight with him. But watch your step. This matter is entirely in the hands of Ch-
church law, so you mustn't overestimate your lay authority here. Right. I'll go and see this Bishop Yaroslav of Benishov. May God go with you. And thank you, Henry. I'm glad you're standing up for your hanker. If you need anything, do come and see me. Where can I find this Inquisitor? He's staying here in the monastery grounds. His quarters are on the upper floor. What actually happened? Your hanker told me you went to Auschwitz? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he heard about Johanka's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was doing. But then she went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. But before she even started, the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said Johanka had ignored his outright ban and he had her taken okay. away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority and forbade them to listen to her. That's all? Didn't you speak to the Inquisitor? Ah, uh, no, actually I didn't. He saw me there listening to her preaching and I, uh, I was afraid to come forward and talk to him. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's understandable. Thanks. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. What actually happened? Your ha yeah? He had a... But, but... It sounds pretty... It is. What exactly does an Inquisitor do? The Inquisition is a papal institution that deals with heresy. Nice. So people don't succumb to charlatans, false prophets and deceptions and put their faith and their immortal souls in jeopardy. The Inquisitors have all sorts of powers. The kind we here can do very little to stand up to. And what can he do to your hanker? I'm not entirely sure. These legal issues are very complicated, but he could certainly excommunicate her, and maybe even sentence her to death. Mm. Who is this Bishop Yaroslav? I've never heard of him before, but the prior has. He said he's very well learned and the Bishop of Sarepta. Sarepta? Where's that? Moravia? No, it's far, far away, near the Holy Land. He got the title from the Holy Father himself. And this bishop came all the way here from Sar... whatever? Sarepta. But I doubt he's ever been there. It used to be a bishopric in the days of the Apostolic Fathers in Phoenicia, near Israel. But it was ransacked by the Muslims. Now it's just a titular bishopric. And Yaroslav is the titular bishop. Titular bishop? Like he's not a real one? It's, let's say, an honorary title. It refers to a diocese that no longer exists. And since a titular bishop has no diocese to oversee, he can devote himself to handling other very important church affairs. Like ordaining other prelates, for example to maintain succession through the centuries down from the time of Christ and his apostles. Do you believe your hanker is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks, she doesn't sound like herself at all. I know she can't read, so where else could she have got it? Frankly, I can't think of any other explanation within the bounds of this world. Interesting. Good luck then. Okay. Well, where's this Inquisitor guy? Oh, the Inquisitor's right here. Where's your hunker? She's locked up at the Rat House. Orders of the Bishop. Locked up? For what? For heretical speeches. Run along now. If you want to chat about it, go and talk to that monk who smells like an apothecary shop. He's in a flap about it too. I'll be with you. Yeah, I talked to him already. Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor's just like next door, upstairs. So, I am Henry of Scarlet, from the garrison of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kobila. I've heard a lot about okay, you, my son. Okay, knows who I am. I'm pleased to meet you. Okay. Bishop Yaroslav, uh, sir, my lord, to what do I owe your interest in my humble self? I was told you survived the massacre in Scarlet and warned the Townburg garrison. You tracked I down did. the raiders of a stud farm in Neuhof, wasn't it? To their hideout in the woods. And then you led Sir Radzig and his armed company there and joined bravely in the skirmish. And even killed their notorious leader by your own hand. Sure and did. I believe you have many other deeds to your name. That's quite remarkable, considering your age, is it not? Well, you're too kind, Monsignor. I'm just trying to do what's right and what's needed. Quite rightly, too, my son. I expect we'll be hearing more about you. But I assume you didn't come here to exchange pleasantries. Or am I mistaken? No, Monsignor. You're quite right. I'm here about your hanker. Naturally. I'd be quite surprised if it were otherwise. So, tell me what's on your mind. This guy seems surprisingly chill. How did you find out about Yanka? Word came to me of what was happening here. That some young girl was claiming to speak for the Blessed Virgin. I traveled here immediately, as my duty demanded, and observed events in Sassau incognito, in order to examine the matter at first hand. I see. Why did you have her in prison? Because she broke the promise she made to me and persisted in actions that bear the signs of heresy. Okay. And what will happen to Yahanka now? I must weigh the gravity of her transgressions and investigate these alleged visions of hers. I consider it very improbable that she is indeed being visited by the Blessed Virgin. Nevertheless, I cannot at this time rule it out entirely. Interesting. So you think it could be true? In that case, Johanka hasn't done anything wrong. It's not that straightforward. Even if her visions were real, she was at fault for interpreting them as she saw fit and preaching to the people. So you decide just like that? But you don't even know Johanka. I certainly do not decide just like that. I'm thoroughly examining the entire matter, and you would be well advised not to question my authority. I will call Johanka and the witnesses, question them, and then pronounce a verdict. Okay. And if you decide she's guilty, will you have her burned at the stake? Good gracious, no. I have no wish to see her die. As St. Augustine said, heretics should be saved, not put to death. The triumph of the church is their salvation, not their death, even if they deserve it. If I find her guilty of any heresy, she will be punished, but the severity of her punishment will depend on her will to repent and make amends. I see. Okay. And will there be anyone there to defend you, Hanka? Do you doubt my judgment? But I would never be so bold, sir. But surely it would be only just that someone should speak for you, Hanka, about all her good deeds and so forth? Naturally, I will also question those who would speak in her defense. Since you are interceding, I expect you have someone in mind? Yes. Actually, me. As I surmised. But this matter does not directly concern you. Why should I allow you to appear before the court? I represent Ranzig. It's my Christian duty. Johanka is my neighbor, and I have a Christian duty to come to her aid. I can't just stand by and do nothing. I have to concur with you on that. Your concern seems sincere. 
So I will grant your request. Very well. You will defend Johanka. You may speak in her defense if you so wish. Oh, snap. You may also bring now? witnesses. I will question any such witnesses. And naturally, I shall question Johanka too. Thank you, Monsignor. In that case, I'll need to speak to Johanka first. That won't be possible. It's forbidden by the Inquisition procedure. Until the entire matter is resolved, Johanka can speak only to me and no one else. Uh, no, I gotta But I have to talk to her. How can I defend her otherwise? No, you are strictly forbidden to speak with her. I have already conceded to something that is quite beyond normal practice. Bear that in mind. I would like to expedite the matter. The trial will take place in Sassar Church in three days' time at the latest. Come and let me know when you're ready to proceed. In the meantime, I will continue my investigation. Very well, Monsignor. I had better get on with it then, sir. Farewell. Before you go, you know Johanka longer than anyone else. You spent a lot of time with her, as I've discovered. Tell me, my son, truthfully, what do you think of this whole affair? He's honest. Johanka is an honest girl, and virtuous. She's a good Christian, who attends church and thinks of others. Good. Please continue. Helps people. Johanka helped a lot of people. She worked her fingers to the bone helping Brother Nicodemus with the sick and injured. That is certainly commendable. What else can you tell me about her? Well, before, in Scalis, Johanka was sort of, well, just a simple village girl. I never imagined I'd hear her talk in the way she does now. She's completely transformed. A simple village girl. I see. Do continue. She's worried about Matthias. He's from Scalic right too, and she's very fond of him. But he was wounded in a raid on Merhoyed recently, and since then he's been lying in a fever. Johanka believes that if she does what the Blessed Virgin wants of her, Matthias might be healed. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else? Yeah, well... Sir Sebastian took a fancy to Yahanka and made certain advances towards her. And I think she might have got involved with him. Sebastian von Berg? The custodian? But to my knowledge, the man is married. But it's all over now. She's finished with him, really. So, the gossip about her fornication here is truthful. What else can you tell me? Maybe. She didn't treat everyone equally. She took better care of her former Scalit's neighbors than of the other patients, of course. It's understandable, yes. Some people are dearer to her than others, but whether by doing so she sinned. Anything else, Henry? Just one more. About the Virgin Mary? I... I believe the Virgin does visit her. Johanka is honest. She wouldn't lie about such a thing. And the things she says sound truthful and compelling. It really does seem like a heavenly revelation. Who else could it be from? But the Virgin Mary. The origin of these so-called visions of hers must be investigated. But thank you for your candor. Is there anything else you can tell me? That's about all I can tell you. Thank you, my son. One more thing before you go. Let me remind you that it's your Christian duty to report anything suspicious going on concerning the church and the true faith. If you're aware of anything of the sort in these parts, if you prove yourself a commendable servant of the church, I would also take that into account in judging Johanka's case. All right, Monsignor. I'll bear that in mind. I'll be with you. Once you're prepared, I need testimony.
Adela, the Inquisitor is going to try Johanka in court. Oh, Lord. I hope she's acquitted. I was absolutely devastated when they took her away. I need people to speak in her defense, and I'd like to ask you to do it. I don't want to go there, really. I'm afraid of that Inquisitor, but... You helped me, and so did Johanka. It's only right that I should try and help her. But what am I supposed to say there? I'm just a simple village girl. I don't know anything about these things. That doesn't matter. You just be yourself. It should be enough to talk about all the good Johanka does here, and how she helps others. I'll send for you if you're needed. All right. Thanks a lot. Brother Nicodemus, you've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yohanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. I'm afraid it may not be that easy. The thing is, I expect Yohanka will say the same things before the court that she's been preaching. What are you saying? Well, I've been thinking about what she's been saying, and it seems to me her preaching has a certain progression. Are you acquainted with the notion of the three orders of man? Uh, no. Not really, no. It's like this. It's said that everyone has their God-given place and purpose on Earth. Laboratores, Oratores, and Bellatores. Those who work, can't. those who pray, and those who fight. The common folk are born to work, to reap the fruits of the earth, and to obey the laws of God and man. It is the purpose of the nobles to protect the people and the church against all dangers, and to maintain peace and justice on earth. And the church, in turn, has the task of caring for the spiritual welfare of all, ensuring the salvation of their souls, and bringing solace to the people in times of hardship, so that they can endure their earthly trials and enter the kingdom of heaven. But what's all that got to do with Yohanka? Well, I noticed in her first sermon she primarily addressed the concerns of the common folk, and in the second, she criticized the nobility. I suppose so, but I still don't get it. In short, I'm afraid that now she might start talking about the church if she gets the chance, and if she's as critical as she was about the lords. I dread to think how that might end up. Henry, you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor, and the wisest course would be to admit to being wrong. She's rather stubborn, but perhaps she'll listen to you. But the Inquisitor said no one's allowed to see her. No one except the Inquisitor's own men. You'll just have to think something up. I'm afraid your hanker's fate is mainly in your hands now. I'm relying on you. Uh-oh, spaghetti house. Witnesses can be summoned for Yohanka's trial. So, I wanted to ask you if you'd give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? I'd be glad to do it. Yohanka deserves my help. Such testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. Yep. Goodbye. Yeah. You didn't return the relic. But I... Oh, bugger. How could you do that? It's because of people like you that they won't let decent folk in. I don't know what this is about. Mech! <laughs>
I found this document in the woods by Sasau. Careful. It's a bit bloody. Don't tell me those fools got themselves. And to hell with it. And did you come across any Cumans? Yes. They're finished. There now. It's not such a fuck up after all. Here's some money for you. It was supposed to be for those idiots, but it seems they asked for a hundred groschen more than they deserved. I know about you and her. She told me everything. Oh? What exactly do you mean? You'd better be very careful what you say, boy. I know you're a married man, but you haven't always been entirely faithful to your wife. How dare you! And you had to pick Johanka. I know all about it. And you should know it's finished. Johanka was feeling vulnerable when, when it was all too much for her. That's all. She and Matthias care for each other, so leave them alone. She doesn't want to have anything more to do with you. And she won't. How dare you speak like that to a noble? You, a blacksmith's brat from Skullitz. If you weren't in Lord Kobila's charge, I'd have you whipped for your lies and dragged behind a horse all the way to Ritai. But whoever you might be hiding behind, next time I'll do just that. Now get out! Farewell. I still want you to help her out in court. My respects to you. <laughs> He's yelling at me to get out. And then my respects to I you. I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did. And it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Well, I'm preparing for it. I'll think up something, don't worry. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With Johanka, of course. Flee? Huh. You might be right. But how? The bishop won't let anyone see Johanka. Johanka is being held at the rat house, isn't she? You could pass yourself off as one of the Inquisitor's men, get in there at night, and escape with her. How am I supposed to pass myself off as one of his men? Well, when his guard came here, he identified himself by means of a document. If you could get your hands on it, think about it. But whatever you decide, if Johanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. I'm very fond of her, and her of me. And I don't want anything to happen to her, understand? But, if everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude, I assure you. Good luck to you. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Ah, Henry. What would you like from me? Maybe you'd like to rob me of what I have left, or what is it this time? 
What are you talking about? What on earth do you mean? You stole half of the money you were supposed to donate. You robbed me, lied to me, and dishonored the Blessed Virgin on whose behalf your hanker spoke. You're accusing me falsely. I donated the money I found in the place you described, and it wasn't easy to find either. You mean half of the money I put there? Half? What are you saying? Don't think you can fool me. When it comes to coin, my memory is flawless. I remember exactly how much was there. Ninety score groschen. Well, then someone must have found it earlier and taken some. Someone finds treasure and takes only half? Very fishy, I'd say. No, not at all, actually. A lot of footpads think if they leave one groschen for every groschen they steal, it will absolve them of their sin, and they can line their purses with a clean conscience. Well, there is a certain twisted logic to it. I know some merchants who think just like that. All right, Henry. I admit, I jumped to conclusions. Good. But now we've got that settled, there's something I'd like to ask of you. The Inquisitor has locked up your hanker. She's accused of heresy. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in your hunker's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same thing you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when your hanker was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For your hanker's sake, I'll wait. Good luck, then. Master Bailiff? I know. Oh? Various things. Like how things are here. Where the people... And then he asked about your hunker. What's that? He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau too. I... That's interesting. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the go? court? Yes. He did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her, until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. Your hunker has helped a lot of people here, selflessly. Her heart is in the right place. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe your hunker or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Couldn't you add something good to your testimony for your hunker? I would, uh show my gratitude substantially. What? Are you trying to bribe me to commit perjury? Good Lord, no. I wouldn't dream of it. I express myself back, that's all. What I was trying to say, rather clumsily, is that I'd be very glad if you were to speak on Johanka's behalf, because she really deserves it. Hmm. Well... I'll overlook your clumsiness, then. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Good luck to you. Good day to you. God be with you. Glad to hear it. What's that? You looking for something around here? Mother of God. 
I'd like to uh -huh. get myself. I'm sure. Good luck. Probably get everything else in the morning. Hey, Henry! That donation to the... Indeed. Bonham Commune is a prerequisite. It expresses, but only an interest in a... Once again. Father, the Inquisitor has had Johanka thrown in jail. I know, sir. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanga has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who knows what these dreams are that she speaks of? And her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now, instead of going to church, as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away a from chasm. the true teaching left to us by Christ. Their misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. But Johanka is no heretic. She's a good, kind girl who's only trying to do the right thing. I'll defend her. Suit yourself. Mind you don't get ensnared in her fallacies and leave it to the bishop to judge the matter. Of course. Right then. Welcome, Henry. Well, how did it go with that husband of mine? Well, we sat down and talked, and in the end, I talked him out of playing dice. Did you? Mother of God, that's wonderful news. How on earth did you do it? Look here. I'll tell you what happened, but you mustn't breathe a word of it. All right. Ambrose got really drunk. I took his money, and in the morning, I told him he'd lost it all at dice. He took it really hard, and he promised he'd never gamble again. Uh-huh. 
Well, if you think he really means it. And what about the money? Did you give it back to him? Yeah, I gave it back to him so he can buy what he needs. That's wonderful. Thank you, Henry. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Your hanker was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in Johanka's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But Johanka helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time. Save the game here and try and sneak over there. that buff.
Going on mute? Phone call. Hey, what are you playing at here?
Alright. Yeah. I'm here about your- You're that fella of hers, are you? Uh, no. Huh. I heard you invited Bishop Yaroslav- Yes, so Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasso. And what did you talk about? What we discussed with the mo- What have you got against your hunker? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure. To a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up. Men, especially. Coming around here with her nonsense. Sasao is a decent, orderly place. I'll have you know. We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God of mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Damn it, woman. Tell me what you meant by that. I didn't mean anything by it. Out with it! If you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here. But would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. Go. God be with you. Well, I guess I better stop trespassing. Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. I'm quite aware of that, my man. I'm with the bishop's entourage. Look, show me that. Ah, I see. All right, sir. You can talk to her. Thank you. You can really read? A little, yes. That's why they put me here. Very good. I'm impressed. Now leave us, please. Certainly, sir. Goodbye. Your hunker. Are you all right? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. 
It's all in God's hands now. No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. You want to defend me? Thank you. Henry, that's very kind of you. But you needn't bother. Our lady won't let anything bad happen to me. I am her instrument, and I am completely in her hands. Everything that's happening is her sacred will. But I won't stand by with my arms folded. You need someone to testify for you. As I said, I will defend you. If you insist, maybe it's the will of the Virgin that you came to me. So be it then. What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? All sorts of things, like how the Virgin Mary visits me, what she shows me, and about preaching to the people. Actually, he was really quite pleasant. He asked me about scallops. Yeah, seems true. Whether I go to church, and a lot of other things. And in the end, he told me I mustn't speak in public again about the visitations and that. But I couldn't obey an order like that. The Blessed Virgin is testing me, and I have to do what she asks, no matter who or what stands in the way. I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. No. He came there with his men, dispersed the people, and had me arrested and locked up here. I did that pilgrimage. I went to Ujits, like you asked. That's good, Henry. I hope you purged yourself of your sins. I did the pilgrimage of penance, like you said. And in the church, I begged the Virgin Mary for forgiveness. And she will bless you, Henry. You're a good man. Remember that. And don't stray into wrongdoing again. I won't. I made a donation to the church, too. And the parish priest there, Father Godwin, he was asking about you. Was he? Well, what did you tell him? Oh, just about everything that's going on and the things you were saying. He was quite moved by it, to tell the truth. He even gave me some writings. You see? Maybe Our Lady is giving you a sign, too. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully, answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin wants me to say. Johanka, please. You mustn't say anything against him or the church. Be contrite. Maybe even admit you might have been wrong about some things. I don't think the Inquisitor is so bad. If you submit to him, he'll drop the charges. You too now. You're speaking exactly the same as his assistant. The two of you joined forces against me, did you? I've nothing to do with him. I didn't even know he was here. Believe me, I'm really trying to help you. You don't believe me anymore, do you? I do, Johanka. I believe you. But in court, you must speak reasonably, prudently. A lot depends on it. Maybe even your life. I appreciate your concern for me, Henry. Really, I do. But you must understand. I can't deny that the Virgin Mary visits me, or what she wants to tell us. Not now. After everything that's happened, I can't. Otherwise... She won't heal Matthias. But you have to consider yourself and what's no, good for you. Surely you don't want to be convicted of heresy. That won't do anyone any good. Neither you nor Matthias. I've already told you. Everything is in the hands of the Blessed Virgin. I will accept with humility the fate she grants me. A oh, sacra. This is going to be a right mess. You want to just Johanka, I really don't think this is going to end well for you. But there's another option. We can flee. I'll lure the guard away, pick the lock, and we'll vanish into the woods. Tonight, we'll run far from here, where no one knows you, and you can start a new life. No, Henry, I can't do that. The Blessed Virgin led me here. 
And here is where I belong. I won't okay. run away like a criminal. This trail's gonna be rough. Thanks. Talk to Nicodemus. And I guess we'll tell the Inquisitor that we're ready. Yeah. Um. I could think about just like killing witnesses and stuff. The bailiff, Fabian, and the swordsmith's wife are all going to testify against Johanka. But I think if they're dead, that's even more sus. I spoke to Yahanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Poor child. Did I tell you about my wife's lace mate? No. What are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me to reckon with. Persuade her again. I have 
already tried that. I guess I'll try again. Yeah. I'll take a nap to save and then talk to the Inquisitor. Yeah. Defend her in a duel. Monsignor, I've heard of various irregularities in the province that might be of interest to you. Very good, my son. A good Christian certainly shouldn't conceal such things. Please, speak. Well, the parish priest in Ujits is rather uh, unorthodox. Not that he's a bad person, not at all. He takes good care of his flock, no doubt. It's just that he drinks quite a lot. In fact, he's even said mass while drunk. And, um... He keeps a concubine. Hmm. That distresses me. All the more so because what you describe isn't at all unique amongst the clergy. Thank you for telling me, Henry. Matters like this certainly must be addressed. Just gonna be a snitch. The former parish priest of Rovna, Father Simon, went missing one day. Everyone thought he'd fled from the province, but in fact he just went to the woods and became a hermit. I see. Why did he do that? I couldn't tell you. Hmm. That's a pity. Well, I'm glad you told me about him. There were Valdensians hiding in Ujits. Really? And how did you find out about it? Sir Hanush sent me to help the vicar track them down and catch them. So, Sir Hanush had an interest in finding them? Yes, that's right. I'm pleased to hear it. It's not always possible to see eye to eye with secular lords in such matters. And how did it end up with the members of the sect? 
I tracked them down and reported them to the vicar, and then he had them taken to Kuttenberg for trial. Good. Good. There have been all sorts of sects and false doctrines spreading in recent times. It's the work of Satan. Yep. I'm glad you told me about it, Henry. Some women in Ujit went to the herbalist for magic ointment. Then they went to the woods, smeared this ointment on themselves, and engaged in all sorts of incantations and spells. What? Witchcraft? God have mercy. They must be brought to justice. Who is this herbalist they visited? Not to worry, Monsignor. Father Godwin put a stop to it. Well, that's good news at least. Witchcraft will not be tolerated under any circumstances. A demon's skull was found on the church building site. Hmm, yes. I heard something about it. A disturbing report. Tell me what you know about it. It was a deception, sir. Someone made it with evil intentions to frighten people. I found the skull and brought it to the local knacker. He confirmed it was a human skull with animal horns stuck on. You did the right thing, Henry, in uncovering the deception and in telling me about it. There are interesting things going on inside the monastery. In the monastery? What kind of things? The monks in the monastery are very concerned with the election of the new abbot. There's a lot of scheming going on over it. But how do you know about it? How does a servant of the royal hetman come by knowledge of the confidential affairs of the Brotherhood of Monks? I caught wind of it. I heard it from a novice that the brothers were sending out at night to buy wine for them. I see. And what was the name of this novice? Cyril. Do you take me for a fool? There's no such novice at the monastery. The prior informed me that someone recently infiltrated the monastery with and his description. Is there anything you'd... Oh, shit. But Monsignor... And indeed... And you'll have... May the Lord... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I messed that up. I should have looked closer at the names. It's been so long, though. save Yeah, I am gonna miss her trial.
Monsignor, please. There are interesting th in them. The monks in the. But how? How does? I call. I heard. I see. Your doc. Hmm. There is a novice of that name at the monastery. I shall have to speak to the prior about these matters. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. If you well, the par not that it's just and mm, thank you. The four every I see. Oh. there were Real th so yes. I'm put and ha I trapped them. Th Good. Been I'm glad. Some women in Egypt went. Then they went to the wood. What they must? Who is this? Not to worry. Well, which tra a demon? Hmm. Tell me what you. It was a dis. I found. Them. You did the right thing. That's all, Monty. All right, Henry. Thank you. Okay. And I hope you're not keeping anything from me. Why did you have your hanker imprisoned? I talked to her for a long time about the things she was saying and about her convictions. I warned her that she had to stop preaching in public. And I told her if she had any further concerns, or as she claims, visions, she should come to me. Johanka chose to ignore my warning and continued with her preaching. Obviously, I couldn't turn a blind eye to that kind of disobedience. That makes sense. But what's so bad about what Johanka has been saying? Look here. It's simply unacceptable that anyone at all should come along and stand up in the market square and preach about God's will or how he or she interprets it. God gave us his teachings, which we must honor, and he showed us how to fulfill them. It is only those teachings that lead us on the path to salvation and God's grace. But understanding those teachings is no simple matter. It demands learning, time, and effort. That is one of the tasks of Holy Mother Church. What Johanka has been saying is dangerously close to heresy. She must be brought to see the error of her ways, and her disruptive actions must cease. But Johanka hasn't done anything against God. On the contrary, she's devout, and she's trying to redeem sinners. Perhaps, but she's also incited disobedience to the nobles, and that is a serious accusation. Think of it like this. You have to pass through a dark forest filled with hazards. Many paths lead to that forest, but only one will lead you safely through it. You know which is the right path, but others don't. Would you show them the right path? Or leave each to choose his own and very likely lose his way? I'd show them the right path, but it would be up to them whether to take it or not. But... Then many would lose their way and die. Because of you. Where it concerns God's mercy and grace, we cannot allow that to happen. You must understand that it is the mission of the church to care for the soul of every person. It is our sacred duty to lead the people to salvation. How does the church know which is the right path? Watch how you speak, Henry and how you consider such matters. God is the fountain of truth, and he is represented on earth by his holy church and none other. The church was built on the foundations of Christ's apostles, who passed on his wisdom to others, as they passed on the task of leading people to the love of God and thereby to salvation. Do you think the church would now want to lead the people to damnation? That we would consciously corrupt the task that the Son of no, God passed on to us? We I would asked. be condemning not only the people, but ourselves, too. It would extinguish the very sense of our existence. Not what I asked. You're right, Monsignor. I'm not going to tell him that it's unnecessary. Sorry, all this learning at once was a bit much for me. I got confused. I apologize. Thank you for having the patience to explain it to me. Good. I'm glad I've dispelled your confusion. I will excuse your error. But in future, do not be misled, because that will open your mind to Lucifer himself. And that's the very reason why Johanka was wrong to indulge in philosophizing and leading people astray. Monsignor, Johanka is just a simple village girl from Scalis. Are all these legal proceedings really necessary? They are. The mission of the Inquisition is quite unequivocal. 
And however trivial, this matter has a broader significance. What broader significance? No offense, but these things can't easily be explained to an uneducated boy like you. Still, I'm pleased that you take an interest. Unfortunately, I don't have time for this now. If you really want to know more, ask my assistant. After all, it is also our duty to guide others through the labyrinth of this world. But Johanka was visited by the Virgin Mary, so what she says can't be wrong. We only have her word for that, and even if her visions were real, she was at fault for interpreting them as she saw fit and preaching to the people. So you think she should have spoken to the parish priest about it? Exactly. And the priest would have sent for someone who would look into the matter. Like me, for instance. In short, it's not for her to interpret such things in her own way. If people believed her and started thinking what they want about it, Soon, everyone would be adrift in confusion, and the true message would be lost. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I understand. I'm glad you do, my son. Monsignor, it occurs to me that maybe this situation with your hanker could be resolved in a different way. Is that so? Pray, enlighten me. I want to defend Johanka in a duel. If God is willing, and I win, then Johanka will be cleared. And who do you propose to fight? Me? Or the Archangel, Gabriel? How should I know? With someone. Let God decide. Solving disputes by such barbaric means is a throwback to ancient, pagan times, and the Holy Church will not tolerate it. It is an offense to God to demand that he resolve disputes that it is our duty to resolve. No, Henry. It's out of the question. I don't want to hear another word about it. Good luck, then. Talk to the school. I'm honored that you should come to me. The bishop told me this business with Johanka has a wider context, and that you tell me about it. Oh, very well. If the bishop says so. Look, it's like this. The world as a whole is not in a good state. For decades, people have been perishing from a terrible sickness, the Black Death. There's an anti-pope in Avignon in France who defies the authority of the throne of St. Peter. The people are frightened. Many of the nobles, instead of caring for peace on earth, are warring one against another. The authority of many monarchs, and even the emperor, is unfortunately too weak to put things to rights. Many scholars have even started to question established truths and various contentious teachings have appeared, such as those of the Englishman, Wycliffe. The Black Death? The plague, my child. A dreadful disease that claimed countless lives. By the grace of God, these parts were not much afflicted, but it took a terrible toll in the surrounding countries. First, the Italian ports were stricken, Venice and Genoa, and then nearly the whole of Christendom. Some regard it as God's punishment for our sins, or even a sign of the approaching parousia. Paro what? The parousia, the second coming of Christ. The day when he returns to this world will mark the end of the ages. The dead will rise, and all people will face final judgment for their sins. Oh. Do you think that's going to happen? Most assuredly. But God alone knows when that will be. Oh. I hope it won't be too soon. The Black Death. The first. That's awful. The Antipope. Unfortunately, that's a very serious and unpleasant topic. In short, alongside the legitimate Pope, the Bishop of Rome, and successor to St. Peter, another was elected and is usurping the highest glory of being Christ's representative Thanks here on earth. Context. This is a most lamentable schism Historical for the whole church, dump. and the Avignon usurper must be compelled to give up his unlawfully acquired office, so the church and the whole of Christendom may again be unified. So there are two popes? 
Not quite. There is only one, but there are those who refuse to recognize him. The election wasn't correct and valid, and I apologize. It wasn't wise to speak to you of this. It will only confuse you all the more. Better forget it. We won't talk about it anymore. You mentioned the Emperor. God wants unity, a universal order of the world. The Pope, Christ's deputy, and the Emperor, the supreme earthly ruler, crowned by the Pope himself, were instituted in order to preside over that unity. Unfortunately, the gleam of the imperial crown has become somewhat dulled, and his authority is no longer as absolute as it once was. What's worse, his election has become a political game involving many princes, and for a long time the emperor himself has paid less attention to the affairs of the Christian world and more to his own concerns. I see. And what about these scholars? That's complicated. Some reject the authority of the Pope or the Church. Others dispute over the legitimacy of government or the nature of the world. Others rebel against teachings. All of them seek all sorts of arguments and explanations to support their claims and argue with others. All this contributes to uncertainty. One doubt leads to another. And soon, heretical ideas take hold. Ah. Uh-huh. But don't concern yourself. These are weighty matters for others who are learned in such things. Of course. Peace on Earth. Yes. Sadly, many countries are torn apart by strife and destroyed by war. In the lands of the English, the French, the Italians... In the Holy Roman Empire, Christians are raising their weapons against other Christians. Love for our neighbor has given way to the pursuit of mammon and high office. They plot against each other to gain advantage. You've seen it yourself, right here in Bohemia, and even in Sassau. Yes, and in Scalitz. Indeed, my son, regrettably. But what does all this mean? What has it got to do with your hanker? As I say, the order of the world is shaken. Division is spreading, and confusion and iniquity thrive. It's the handiwork of Lucifer, who wants to lay waste to God's creation. Many have succumbed to his false truths and spread them to others. That's why we must be alert to his snares especially in these times. Be wary of false prophets and stick to the path of the true faith and personal virtue. And Johanka? Just so. I fear she too may have been ensnared by Lucifer's deceptions and the false belief that she's been visited by the Blessed Virgin. These machinations of the devil must be faced and stamped out before they take root and cause more evil. But we must not despair. Even those who have strayed from the right path may be redeemed. And that's why your hunker's case is important. Although it may not be immediately apparent. I understand. But what does all this... As it's that... I know someone like that. There's a charlatan who's been peddling wares around these parts. All sorts of amulets, relics and the likes that are supposed to cure all ills. Yes, I've heard something about that. If you should know of any similar iniquities, the Monsignor will be glad to listen to you. And the... And the I understand. Thanks. Could you please... Sir... Thanks. See you later. Good luck then. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop.
for a little bit over two hours for this part, and we still have an entire trial to work through, which could involve me, like, saving and reloading and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and save now. Actually, yeah. I'll go to sleep to save the game one more time. I'll eat the smoked sausage later. You know what? I should probably take that. Wander the clothes that I'm currently wearing. Yeah! I'd like to make and what is it? proper bar. I'm sure. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. It'll be good for when I get back to Privy Slavitz to finish the reconstruction. Alright, we're going to end it here and find out what happens to Johanka tomorrow, probably. Or whenever we get around to this in the future. Thanks everybody for watching, catch y'all next time. Bye bye now.